Last time on Chrono Trigger, the gang raided the Tyranno Lair and rescued Kino as well as the rest of the Laruba villagers that were captured. We then got into the decisive battle with Azela, the Reptite leader, and secured humanity's place at the top of the food chain. Instantly after that, however, Lavos fell from the sky, and we found out exactly where he came from. He came from space. And now, we find ourselves here, in the Kingdom of Zeal. However, um, I want to I wanna check something. Before we go around and explore the rest of this wonderful place, I want to scout out a few things. Because... We came here awfully quick, and I really want to swing by the end of time and see what's going on. There, if we can even get back to the end of time. Is there anything else out here? Honestly, with this weather, there probably isn't anything down here. Hey, wait, there's something right there. Terra Cave. Well, for now, it's completely out of our reach. Looks like somebody's gonna have to build a ladder there, perhaps, or something like that. Hmm. Let's see where this goes. Does this take us back to the same place in 65 million BC? Or do we go to the end of time now? Ah, we go back to the end of time. Let's see what the old man has to say. Come see me anytime. Think of me as your guide. Hmm. Well, let's see what Speckico says. Ooh, he's changed. He's tougher now. All right, sweetheart. Unfortunately, you were born before magic existed. But you seem to have other skills that will get you by. No, I don't want to fight him. I'm pretty sure only magic attacks work on him, and since she, since Tina doesn't have any magical ability, that would not be good for us. Need you not a swordsman? No, not yet, Dion. Mine blade and skill may rust. Hello, Metal. May I be of assistance? Um, no. I shall be waiting for you. And hello, Marie. Don't you need my brain power? No. Oh, get out of here. Actually, I think I will change the group up. Yes, you may be of assistance. Okay, we're gonna switch out Paige for Dion and Tina for Metal Slime Hut here. There we go. I thought about it a little bit after the last video. And... I, I do want to try some of the other characters here. Yeah, let's go to the Terran Fortress. We'll give uh, them a little bit of screen time, I guess. Here we are. I wanna, I wanna go scout out the um, the surviving humans here and see what they have to say about this whole situation. I probably should have brought Tina with us, but oh well. Okay. Let's see. Ioka Hut. Red Star. Me saw. Big fire where Lavos fall. Me scared. No more reptites. Happy, happy, joy, joy. You better do us proud. You're our ancestors. Red star fall. Bad omen. But reptites gone. Happy. At least the humans survived. Of course, it would have been completely horrible if they didn't. We wouldn't be here, right? All relieved. Peace good. Everyone happy. Drink sweet water? No thanks. Even though I probably should have. I don't think metal needs any water. You have any oil by chance? Kino, where are you at? He should be in the chief's hut, I thought. Unless he's staying somewhere else. Um, are they throwing a party by chance? Traitor has new weapons. Go see. Praise, strong chief and plump. Reptite's gone. You guys should throw another party in our honor. Reptite's gone, yay. Praise strong chief and plump. Where's Kino at? I had a few questions for him. Maybe he's up here at the Laruba village. If there's anything even left of it, that is. No. 
No more fear. No more run away. Yay, reptites are gone. Reptites burned. Good. You strong. I strong now, too. Reptites gone. Thank Tina. Yes, but where is Kino at? Hmm, I wonder if he even made it back. No point in worrying about it now. He's gotta be somewhere out there. Well, good luck, Kino. Next stop for us, how about... I guess we go back to Zeal now. We could always, of course, go around to the other time periods. Oh, wait. I, I do have a something I want to do real quick. This should be interesting. We're going to take these two to see Mother. See what she has to say about him. It's been a while since we've been back to this time period. I doubt... Whoops. Wrong... Wrong place. Wait! Sorry guys, we didn't mean to disturb your lunch. Hope you guys don't mind going through this portal so often. It's almost hypnotic. There we go. Lenay Square. Lenay Square, however you want to say it. I'm going to continue to call it Lenay. Now that I've got it down. So guys, this is my time period. Pretty peaceful, eh? You must just kick back, relax, enjoy the fair. We could earn silver points and do other types of wonderful things. Play tons of games, win different dolls for us. Meow, meow. Goodness, Marie, is this one of your inventions? Greetings, I am Metal. Plump is my friend. My, how polite. Strange looking, but well behaved. Plump, you could learn a thing or two. Oh, come on, Mom. Dear me. Plump, how many times have I told you to keep your pets outside? M Madame, I am not a pet. Though I am odd of figure, I am a master swordsman. It talks! Er, uh, I just thought I mean... I'm terribly sorry, uh, Mr. Toad. No. My name is... Yes, dear? Uh, Toad will do for now. <laughs> oh, you're so polite, Diana. That's really all I wanted to do here, though. We gotta keep Mom up to date with what's going on, you know. Just because we're heroes, traveling through time, saving the world, doesn't mean we don't have time for dear old mother. She's not a control freak, so if she was, we'd run away and never give her any attention at all. Avoid her like the plague. Let's see, what is this? Earthbound Island? Um, have I already been here? Let's check it. Actually, I think that's where we came from, my bad. This will lead us down into the snow. Don't be scared here, guys. The world has changed. How, how do frogs just... You know, how do they feel about the cold? Metal, are your joints still operating, or are they getting stiff? I don't know how well the lubricants work for them. Better just get up here where it's warm. Above the cloud layer. Okay, in Haza. We got fire. What order have I already opened these in? Did I do this one? That's wind. And water. That didn't do anything. I'm gonna try this a few more times. There's only a few possible combinations that this could be. So... One... Wind. Water. And hiccups. And fire. Okay, that didn't do anything. How about... Um... Water... Wind. There's probably a, a clue around here somewhere. I'm sure that someone has a clue. And 
Well, there we go. That works. Hmm. The Mystery of Life, Volume 841, Chapter 26. All life begins with new and ends with new. This is the truth. This is my belief, at least for now. Interesting. And you must be a new. The guru of reason is gone. Challenge me? Sure, why not? Okay, here we go. What? I thought I was challenging you. Um, this is bad. Okay, try lightning on them. Oh boy. Um, you attack him and... Metal? Do your little laser spin. The disco dance. This could get ugly real quick. At least we're hurting them. Oh boy. Um, I wonder what happens if we die. Do I go all the way back to my last save? I'm not even going to bother to heal up here. Actually, yeah, I will. Oh wow, he can heal everyone? Dion, I am glad I brought you along. I thought I was going to have to use tonics on everyone or something. However, that, that's pretty effective, I think. Um, you keep doing your laser spin there. Maybe we can kill all of them at once. Got that one. Yeah, they'll be dead soon. In fact, this will probably take out the rest of them. Or not. Is that all you guys know how to do? Scary. Look out, plump. Well, what's gonna happen? Is that gonna kill Dion? Yep. Crap. Okay, plump. You use lightning. You fought bravely, Dion. Fortunately, it wasn't enough. Oh, good deal. We wouldn't have been able to do that without his heal, though. 90 tech points? We learned Max Cyclone. Nice. You're strong. Take this. Good, a magic tab. Ooh, a speed tab. New. That's it. It's not too bad. What's this book say? Nothing? That was a pretty nice treasure. I'm gonna save the magic tab, though. The speed tab. we we'll use on plump. Yeah, I'm not gonna get buff these guys' stats really at all. I'm gonna save that for Paige. Heal up there. And let's see what the rest of these floating islands have to offer us. Um, we'll save it there. So I don't have to go through all that again. And another land bridge, huh? Do they always have to walk through the snow whenever they want to transfer between their islands? This place sure is fancy, though. This It has better technology than even my time, and this is 13,000 years before it. Hmm. A little bit of a pause there. Sometimes this emulator does that. I don't know why. That's not anything. This is beautiful. What do we got? Kajar? The Blackbird. Can we take it out for a spin? I do not like that music. Who are you guys? Everything okay with the blackbird? And who is this? Everything's a-okay, Sir Dalton. Of course it is, you idiot. Hey you, what are you doing there? We're just looking around. Aha, it was true then. You're the ones the prophet said would come and cause trouble. What are you talking about? Let's see how you handle this little situation. 
I didn't think they'd make it so easy on me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Never thought something so big could fly, huh? I haven't got a good chance to look at it yet. So who is that guy, and why does he seem like such a jerk? This is the magical city of Kajar. We do experiments for the queen. Hello. Your power differs from ours. In you, I sense a strange aura of kindness. What, you guys aren't kind? You seem nice so far. Combine the ancient rainbow shell and the sunstone to create incredible weapons and items. But now, only the guru of life has the skill. Elemental power usage is forbidden. Ah, plants are so content. I wish I could be too. This is another spring of recovery. Nice. Um, wind. Okay. That's the sun keep you see on the southern continent. A sunstone, once the source of the world's power, was kept there. But when we began using our new energy source, it was sealed up just like the North Palace. They claim we don't need the energy of this tired old planet. Well, how does one get over there? I don't see a land bridge. So we've got wind down there, fire there. Hello, new. Hmm. The quiet type, apparently. Can buy full tonics here, revives. I'm gonna buy ten more. I've got load shields, but I cannot sell them unless the queen says it's okay. I want a load shield. Those lacking magic have always lived beneath the clouds, as the earthbound ones. After all, they lack what we have. Water. My, you've got an unusual aura. So, you must possess the skill too. It must be very primitive compared to ours. You poor things. How did we come by our skills? And why do others lack them? <laughs> Who cares? All that matters is that we have them. Queen Zill has two heirs, Shala and Janus. Shala is an incredible child who has extraordinary magical powers. Being so gifted, she'll breeze through life. What about Janus? His only friend, other than his sister, is that stupid cat. What tempest rages in his head? We've been seeing a lot of Janus lately. He appears upset and paces around. There's something up there. Hmm. I wonder how we get there. You see it flashing up there? It's curious. Can I... Aha! A speed tab. Well, that was nice. I didn't even know that would work. Amazing. I heard Shala's powers far exceed those of her mother. Then there's her stepbrother, Janus. He's of royal blood, but he doesn't seem to have a speck of magic. That must be quite tough on him. I'm working on a tab that will boost magical skill, but my precious products have been disappearing lately. Must be the naughty new that hid them. They sure do love their pranks. What else can I do? Oops, that's a defective item. Too bad, huh? <laughs> Dang it. Hey, new. I'm talking to you. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I don't know the details, but I heard he has uncanny powers. Zeal's advances stem from a new energy source. Its power surpasses that of the elements. Do they? The gurus of life, time, and reason live in Zeal. Their skill and knowledge is supreme. I need to talk to them, I think. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. So water, wind, fire, huh? A guru once told me that the sunstone could store the almost infinite energy of our sun. But if its energy were used up, it would lose its glow and change into a moonstone. Interesting. Did you know a moonstone can be recharged if you leave it in the sun? But it takes aeons, so it's unlikely for us to see that gorgeous glow again. Hmm. So, it was... 
I already forgot what he said. It was water. Wait, that was that was fire, right? Or was this fire? Water, wind, and then fire. Aha! Jackpot. What are you? It all began aeons ago, when man's ancestors picked up a shard of strange red rock. Its power, which was beyond human comprehension, cultivated dreams. In turn, love and hate were born. Only time will see how it all ends. What are you? We found something strange. That was an ominous laugh. A black rock. Interesting. Oh, that's right. There are mul multiple rocks in this game. And I, that just actually triggered my memory of another one. I have tons of memories that are just waiting to be triggered here. Black Rock invokes Triple Tech Dark Eternal. It can be used by Paige and Marie. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. I guess. What do we have here? A cave, huh? Nice. I love their little teleporters that they've got. To the top we go. Where we stop, nobody knows. Somebody will know. The Zeal Palace. Good view up here. That music again. This is the Queen's Palace, the center of Zeal Kingdom, which makes this the center of the universe. Does it now? The source of our energy lies deep below the sea. Now that its exact location has been found, the Ocean Palace will be built. Use the Queen's Hall to get to the Ocean Palace, which is still under construction. I guess we'll just have to find it. The Wandering Prophet is amazing. All his prophecies have come true. It's as if he knows the future. How eerie. I wonder... My, what strange clothes. You must be travelers from afar? We're not... Yeah, we actually we are from far away. Very far away. Visitors, do you like plants? Of course. Oh, you're just like me. But the queen ordered me to burn this sapling I received from the guru of life. He said it was a magical sapling, with powers to cure the environment. What shall I do? I think you should secretly plant it and ignore the queen. It's life. There's no reason to destroy it. You're right. Even if it is the queen's command, the guru of life gave it to me. I cannot burn it. I'm going to grow it with love. Someday, it may save the environment. I want. Don't step on it. It could be important. We have no idea what would happen if we killed it. Even, Balthaz even Balthazar is gone. After designing the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace, how strange that the three gurus who guide Zeal have all disappeared. So I guess we won't get to meet them? They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He's making a chrono trigger, or time egg, or something, but no one has seen him for ages. Hello, you. This leads to the Hall of the Mammon Machine. I don't feel like going there just yet. This connects to the Queen's Hall. The Earth is alive, and it has changed over the aeons, from flat lands into mountains, from mountains into oceans. You may find the way. That is, if you could pass aeons of time at the Forbidden Palace, or the Sun Keep. What do you mean, the way? The way for what? The queen must have borne pain and sorrow and silence. No pain, no gain. Zeal, too, was born out of much sacrifice and work. This will take you to the bedroom. Let's check this place out. Let's go left. Always to the left. Shala's pendant was made from the same red rock as the mammon machine. When she chants, the pendant glows. That's interesting. Can I read this? No. Can I sleep? No. 
It was worth a sh worth a try. Hello, Shala. Oh, you're back, Janice. Is something wrong? The black wind. You feel it too. Don't worry. It'll be all right. Now, hold on to this. What is it? It's a kind of amulet. If something should happen, it'll protect you. I wish I could be with you always, but Mother has other plans. She's not our mother. She looks like Mother, but inside she's changed. <sighs> Still, I can't. Janice, I'm sorry. Excuse me, Highness. The Queen asks for your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. All right. Well, Janice, I'll be going. Stay safe and stay out of trouble. Oh, who might you be? Miss Shala, please hurry. If you're late, I'll be punished. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Hmm. Janice, go away. Fine. You sure you want us to go away? Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. Such a cute little cat. Such a troubled young kid. Okay, um... Let's see... Where haven't we been yet? The completion of the Ocean Palace will allow Zeal to last forever, and there will be no fear or sadness. Just eternal peace. Is there not peace now? The Queen's aide, Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean, Ocean Palace until some traveling prophet took over. He's in a bad mood, so you should avoid him. He hates being upstaged. Ask the Queen or the Gurus if you want to know about the Mammon Machine and the Ocean Palace. But just between us, she probably won't give you the time of day. Did you know that Balthazar, the guru of reason, has secret rooms in Inhaza and Kajar? I think I've actually stumbled across them and looted them. That man's a newcomer, but his accurate prophecies earned the queen's trust. He is a drifter. He's not one of us enlightened ones, nor of the earthbound ones either. Hmm. Interesting. We're going to have to meet this man. The Queen's two heirs, Shala and Janice, get along so well. If only Janice would open up to others. That pendant of yours. It looks like Shala's, but it doesn't glow. I wonder. So, next stop, I guess, is one of these rooms. Beings that are born of dreams must return to them. The power of Lavos can make hopes and dreams come true. What? The power of Lavos? What? Did you say? The power of Lavos? What the hell is going on here? I wonder how old man Melquire is. Humans are so odd. What do you have to say? I want to be the wind, Masa. It's them. Oh, you will. Someday. Big sister Doreen's at Nhaza again. Yeah. That's because she likes dreams. I like the wind better. Whoosh. You you are the wind, actually. Interesting. I like seeing these characters far in the past. It's interesting to see them still around far in the future, too. I wonder what, what species those are. They're obviously not humans. The Mammon Machine. The Prophet's aura is full of hatred and sorrow. He'll destroy himself and those he loves. Beyond is the Hall of the Mammon Machine. The incredible energy of Lavos pervades it. The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? Of course we did. I thought so. Feel the flow of the mighty Lavos's power. Oh, I feel faint. All I feel is the power of darkness in here. This is the source of Zeal's strength, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies the infinite power of Lavos. 
If the Mammon machine has moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The ultimate dream of eternal youth and life is now possible. Oh, almighty queen, our kingdom of zeal will reign forever. Magic strong enough to control the extraction of energy is needed to control the Mammon machine. I guess we don't have it, huh? The three gurus made the Mammon machine from the royal family's red rock. Melquire, who has studied much about Lavos, was in charge of the plans. But then he disappeared. Did he complete it? Melquire, who opposed the Queen's plans, has vanished. You're not thinking what I am, are you? Maybe I am. When the Mammon machine was finished, the Queen changed almost overnight. Just between us, I heard that anyone who opposes her, and not just the earthbound ones, vanishes. What's this button do? Anything? No. I can't use it. That is an absolutely frightening looking machine. I don't trust it. The fact that they're harnessing the power of Lavos is actually fairly terrifying. Shala, wait! What? It's one of those doors. And she opened it with the pendant. Hmm. No one may enter while the Queen is away at the Ocean Palace. Yet, yeah, your pendant! That looks just like Shala's! I heard that when Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant starts to glow. Really? To open the door from outside, an item like Shala's pendant is needed to break the seal. Yet, yeah, your pendant! It's just like hers! Unfortunately, no. This door has a strong defense mechanism. Tis a mere door that keeps us bound, hand, foot, and tongue. That it does, Dion. However, they've given us the information we need, I think. The question is, will we be able to actually operate this machine? Beyond, yes, you sick man. No way. It worked. I think. I guess we're going to find out here in a minute. Hold your breath, folks. Yep. So we've recharged the pendant here. That's interesting. What doth challenge us now? There is no doubt Paige's pendant is made of the Guru's rock. I'm actually scared to go through this door. We got butterflies. Guess we better do it anyways. Who are you? And how did you get in here? Your Majesty. They are the evildoers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners. You're worse than the gurus. Fools. Dalton, take them away. Yes, ma'am. By your leave. Golem! Oh, boy. I probably should have saved it outside. So what are we fighting here? Iron ore reduces hit points by half. I have no idea what this thing is weak to. Let's find out. Have a taste of my lightning! Um... No, it learned lightning tech? I don't much care for that. How about X Strike? Eon or Metal? Go ahead and heal Plump. It's learning all of our attacks. I don't like that. Hmm. Maybe I should just regularly attack this thing. Holy crap. We are so gonna die here. It copies physics. Um, quick, revive him. And pump. Mid tonic, full tonic. You better heal yourself. This thing is nasty. So metal is dead. Oh boy. 
I might actually go back to the end of time and redo my team if we die here. Because this is not, not good. Whoops. Oh my goodness. No! We can't lose here. I refuse to die. Okay, you heal Dion. Dion will do his little slurp kiss heal thing, whatever it is, that heals everyone. He just kills somebody every attack. I have to keep up the attack somehow. Um, it doesn't seem that actually healing is very important, because he either cuts our hit points in half, or he just straight up kills us. I'm wasting time by healing up, it looks like. Maybe I need to do a little bit of leveling up. What do we got? Rocket Punch? Try that. Even though he's gonna learn it, he doesn't seem to be using anything that he learns against us. Knock his teeth out. Copies physics. I don't know what that means. Well, he did less damage that time. I'm gonna have to buy a lot more revives after this. Okay, everyone just get up there and knock his teeth out. That's all I see there. That's why I keep saying that. Because all he has is teeth. Big, sharp, nasty looking teeth. <sighs> this could be a long fight. Good, a critical. Quick plump? Yeah. I need Dion to attack. Never mind. I was gonna say he's gonna be the one who can do critical attacks with his Masa Moon. It's a game of whack-a-mole. I'm probably making this fight a whole lot harder than I need to. But again, I don't know what copies physics actually means right now. Like, could I do something? Copycat ability. Um, actually, you revive Dion. I'm trying to think of what I could do that he could copy that wouldn't hurt us so much if there is anything I could do. Copies physics. Do I have a really weak attack or something? about Cyclone. Okay. Slurp cut him. Oh wow, that actually worked? No, he's still gonna completely kick our butt. I have a feeling we're gonna beat this thing with like one hit point on everybody. And then the next monster is going to come along and kill everybody in one move. This is ridiculous. Down to ten revives. I guess it's a good thing I stocked up on a few more anyways. Yeah, if we do continue to get our butt kicked here, um, whenever I end this video, the next video, we might actually just spend wandering around, leveling up. Seeing what we can find around the different time periods for now. I'm sure there's something that we've missed. You know that black rock we found? I, I remember where another rock is now. So maybe we'll go grab that. Quickly running out of revives here. Only a few more turns left. This thing better die soon. Unless this is a fight that I'm supposed to lose. I could see that happening. Once I run out of revives, everyone will probably die. And then we'll win the battle, but I won't have any revives left. That'll suck.
Come on, Metal, get some critical hits here. Copies physics. Hmm. I st I'm still not having any ideas come to me. Dion, you have to attack. I can't afford to fall behind here. Even though we're down to like, what, three revives left now? Crap. Um, yep, down to three. Come on, Dion, get a real good critical here. See, if I had Paige, Burt, Copy, and Dalton, Oh, no way. That's going to kill all of us, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh. I kind of figured that would happen, but... Wow. <laughs> Fear not. You won't die. Immediately, that is. But by the time we're through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a li delicious diversion. Great. We just barely had enough there. What is this, a torture device? Humph, idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. She is far kinder than anyone else around here. Are you all right? Quickly, escape from the palace. And if you can, please rescue Melquire. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. The Prophet. Your meddling tires me. You'll just have to disappear. You mustn't. Hmm. Stop! Okay. I'll spare them. But in return, you will co cooperate, Shala. Now, show me how you came here. Hmm. So you came in through here. Now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. N no, you can't make me. Obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... Oh, all right. Shala, good luck. So she can close and erase gates? Interesting. Her magic must be very powerful. Oh, please forgive me. At least you didn't kill us. Well... Why would the Prophet spare us? And where has Magus gone? I shan't allow him to get away. Wait. The crest on the door is that the pendant opens. I have seen them in my own time. That's right. At each of those domes. Remember that place? On the other side of the sewers? I guess we have some more time traveling to do, don't we? Well, let us return to my time then. Okay, I agree. It's probably a good idea. 
Yeah, we, we were all sitting at one hit point. Let's go ahead and save it. Break the seal. Don't break the seal. You'll never be able to seal it up again. Okay, next stop then. Um, I'll save it at the end of time. Actually, let's go ahead and heal up here. Was it this lady with the sweet water? Yum. No more sweet water. Never happened before. <gasps> that is flippin' awful. I was so excited, too. Okay. Well, then, let's go ahead and just use one of these shelters. See, I, I, I honestly think I was supposed to lose that fight. Like, if I had lost it, um, I wouldn't have had to use 20-some revives there. Kind of ridiculous. That's just how I roll, doing things wrong, but still ending up right. Excuse us, dinosaurs. I think we've... Actually, have I ever... Yeah, I have fought them. Never mind. Never mind. Geronimo! Yeehaw! Never get tired of that. Oh, we lost some portals shouldn't be surprised. Well, old man. Aha! So, you've been to the land of magic. Now that the Pillar of Light is sealed, you'll be needing something that will transport you through time. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. I'm afraid he became a, set, a tad psychotic, spending so much of his time doing research. Well... We will just have to go meet him wherever he is. However, we will have to do that whenever we come back. And I will probably be mixing up my party a little bit and bringing Paige back. And, um... I'm not sure who I'll get rid of. Yeah, I'll just have to think about it. If I even get rid of anyone.